Welcome to this video. In this video, we'll look at a new package called Shiny.js. It is created by Dean Adderley. Shiny.js allows us to add common JavaScript capabilities to Shiny app in, a, in an intuitive way without knowing JavaScript. I've got few examples here. Let's look at, it, look at them. The first one I have is a heading which goes away or hides after a given time period in this case 60 seconds this uses a function called delay that comes with shiny js package the next one is a button when clicked uh, throws an alert message it says this is an alert message thanks for watching this video now this alert message the way it appears may vary from browser to browser mine is safari and this is how it looks like it might look different in case of chrome or other browsers uh, this uh, button used uh, a function called alert that comes with shiny js package the other one we have here is a slider widget now what we can do is uh, we can if, if we can hide this or show this on the click of button so if I click on hide slider, it will hide the slider widget. And if I click on show slider, it will show the slider widget. Similarly, the next one here, I've got two buttons. I've got a hidden text here. So once the app uh, launches, the app, uh, the text is hidden. And if I click on this button, um, it will show the hidden text. And if I click on this button, it will hide it again. And it is using the hide hide function and also the hidden function from the shiny JS package. I've got another example here where I've got a slider widget and you can disable this on a click of button or you can enable this on the click of button. So if I disable, this is how it looks like and you can enable it. There is another one here where on the click of button you can toggle the display of plot so right now i see the plot here and if i click on this i uh, i can hide this and again if i click on this i can show this and uh, this is done by using the toggle function in shiny js so let's go and look at the code i am in the ui.r and the first thing we need to do is we need to install the package shiny js so the way we do is install.packages if you already have it no problem just load the package through library shiny js also load the package shiny i've got the shiny ui function then fluid page this is an important step here use shiny js use shiny js will initiate uh, the the shiny js uh, functionalities and tell shiny that okay um, shiny js has got a bunch of uh, inbuilt functions uh, use it a good practice is to define this at the beginning of the um, uh, shiny ui uh, function then i've got title panel uh, giving the title of the app i've got a heading this this is again uh, just an um, introduction to shiny js then I've got a dive, uh, sorry, div tag. Um, this is just because I wanted to put an ID to the heading, which disappears after or hides after 60 seconds. So what I've done is I've given the heading here and then um, I've enclosed that in a dive tag and I've given the ID as T, which I'm going to use later on. The entire uh, UI, if you see, I've got two fluid rows with columns in them. The first fluid row is here. I've got a column. The first one, I've, I have the action button. This is for the alert. Note the input ID here, which we are going to use later on. Then I've got uh, two action buttons here. This is for slider input, uh, where we will hide and show the uh, slider input widget. 
I've got another one here where we have got two action buttons and I've got the help text remember it was where the uh, the text was hidden so we are going to um, use this uh, uh, again uh, help text text doesn't have the ID so we have to enclose this in dive tag so that we can define the ID to it so this ID we are going to use in the server dot R by by uh, uh, in the beginning it will be hidden and and the way we do is we uh, put the entire uh, widget or basically the help text um, code uh, uh, within the hidden function hidden function comes from shiny JS Th this is telling uh, a shiny or R that okay when when the app is launched this text should be hidden in the beginning okay then uh, I have got another uh, column where I've got two action buttons and the uh, slider uh, input widget this is where I'm disabling and enabling so I've got two buttons for them and again note the uh, ID uh, uh, widget ID which we are going to use uh, in the server dot R then comes the another fluid row here I've got action button to click and to toggle the plot I'm uh, plotting using plot output here and again note the uh, input ID we are going to use that in server dot R so let's go to server dot R in the uh, server dot R the first one the first example was where we were hiding the text after a given time period for that we'll use the function called delay we define how much time we need to wait in milliseconds here I'm saying 60 seconds we need to wait converted into milliseconds and what we need to do after that particular time period we need to hide the text so we will use the hide function on the uh, widget ID in this case T is the uh, text widget ID which we you we had there right so we had the heading there not not the text widget ID but but heading ID okay moving next we had the alert message so alert message is dependent on the click of button what we are doing here is in the observe event we are looking uh, at the click uh, button click event if it is uh, if the button is clicked throw an alert and we are doing that with the help of alert function we are saying alert function and what we need to uh, uh, display this is an alert message thanks for watching the video the next was where we were hiding and showing the text on the click of button again we'll use the observe event we will capture the uh, button cl uh, button click event and if if the show button is clicked show the text we'll use the function show this is a shiny js function on the text widget or text id once again we have observe event this time uh, we are, we are going to capture the um, hide button click event if it is clicked then hide the text hide is again shiny js function applied on the id input id which in this case is txt then we got the slider input widget show and hide same same concept observe event we are capturing the button click event if the show button is clicked then show the slider widget show function on slider widget id which was slider same thing happens with hide slider now we have the disable and enable functionality we are capturing the uh, button click event this if the disable button is clicked disable the widget disable on the widget ID similarly if we have to enable we'll we'll look at if the enable button is clicked if it is clicked then enable the widget and we are enabling it using its ID 
so it's pretty simple uh, based on certain condition we are uh, either hiding or showing disabling enabling uh, we are just uh, uh, following what we need to do based on the click of button or it might be any other event or condition lastly we have got this plot we are simply uh, um, uh, rendering the plot and this time we are going to use since we want to toggle the display of the plot so we will capture the uh, click event here input dollar button if it is clicked toggle the plot initially it was uh, it was um, uh, displaying the plot if it is clicked toggle means hide this time and once again if it is clicked toggle it means show the plot